If you are going over the idea of differentiability in math class or sketching F prime graphs, specifically in A, B, and B, C calc, the sketching F prime graphs, you've come to the right spot, of course. Differentiability we're going to talk about first and what it means, what it looks like. We're going to deal with it formally and informally. And then we're going to talk in another video about sketching F prime graphs, starting out with an F graph and going into the graph of its derivative without knowing what the graph's function is. Whoa. That's more for advanced classes like, again, A, B, and B, C calculus and those crazy teachers out there that love covering it. So what does it mean to be differentiable? Okay, well, differentiable means that you can take a derivative of the function. That's the algebraic way. But visually, there's more to it than that. Informally, and this is the way that I like to think of it is, you've got a curve that is continuous and smooth. So not only can you not pick up your pencil when you're drawing it, but you don't have any sharp corners or edges to it. So it'd be something kind of like that would be continuous and differentiable, right? Continuous and smooth. You don't have any vertical tangent lines. It's nice and smooth. I get that my hand's a little shaky when I'm doing stuff like that. But it's smooth everywhere. So no matter where we go, we could lay down a tangent line on this thing. So I could put a tangent line. Let me use my tangent line tool. I could put a tangent line somewhere. Well, maybe I won't use that tool. It's doing haywirey, funky things. But anyway, we'll sketch one in. I could put the tangent line here. I could put a tangent line there. I could put it here. No matter where we go, we could put tangent lines and rest it on the curve. So it's continuous and smooth. It's differentiable. Formally, and this one's kind of heavy, a function f of x, I'm call this f of x, is differentiable at any point, c, f of c. So that means like pick a random point, call it c comma f of c, right? An x value and a y value. If and only if f of x is continuous at c, it is in this case, Remember, the limit exists at that point, the function exists at that point, and they're the same, or you don't pick up your pencil. And the derivative from the left of that value is equal to the derivative from the right, meaning the tangent line that we're seeing come from the left and from the right, it's nice and smooth. You get the same slope from either side. I'll show you a case where it's not differentiable. That might be easier. Very big idea. If a function is differentiable over an interval, the function there, therefore is continuous over that same interval. So if you're going to be differentiable, if you can lay down a tangent line on it, you're going to be able to draw it without picking up your pencil as well. The flip of that, known as the converse, is not always true. Just because a function is continuous does not make it smooth and differentiable. We'll see that in a second. So perhaps the best way to understand this is to understand when things are not differentiable. And here we go. When are functions not differentiable? So derivatives will fail to exist at a corner. So at this point right here, notice that the slope of the tangent line from the left, right, right here, is negative. And the slope as we approach this x value right here is positive. So our slopes are different coming from both directions, so that is not differentiable there. Makes sense. We wouldn't have a derivative that, well, is the same. You could also think of it as putting a tangent line on that corner would be like a, a teeter-totter or a seesaw, so that wouldn't work out either. But the formal way is the derivative from the left, the slope from the left does not equal the slope from the right. Here, the same idea, it's a cusp. So at this point right here, at x equals 0, we would not have a slope. We're not differentiable there. Again, the slope from the left and the slope from the right, from the left it's negative, from the right it's positive, we wouldn't have a, a made-up mind, if you will, of what the derivative is. And the teeter-totter effect is in play there, too. If you want to think of the tangent line, just going, whoa. So either way, not differentiable here and here. Something to point out. You're differentiable there and here. And we're differentiable there and there. It's not like the whole curve's not differentiable. It's just at this one point and that one point, those corners and that cusp, that we're not differentiable. Also, where we have a vertical tangent, we're not differentiable. So if you take a look at this graph right here, right at that instant at x equals 0, you've got a vertical tangent line. Why aren't we differentiable there? It seems smooth enough. The reason being is if you were to actually calculate the derivative of this thing and plug in 0 into it, you would get an undefined value. It's so steep, we don't know what the value is. Is it positive? Is it negative? I don't know. It's a vertical tangent line. So numerically, we don't have a value for it. It's not differentiable. And lastly, if you're not continuous at a point, here at x equals 0, here's the curve that's represented by this, we're not even continuous. So we can't even have a slope where we can't connect from both sides. True, there's a value here at y equals uh, 1, x equals 0, y equals 1. But the slope from the left and from the right, we, we can't even approach from both sides. 
So the limit doesn't even exist, so the derivative won't. So those are four occasions where we're not differentiable, if you're not continuous at the point either. Again, to point out, this curve has slopes here, here, everywhere except at this one point of not indifferentiability. Same here. We've got differentiability all over this thing, except at x equals 0. So those are the examples of points of not being differentiable. So let's do a practice exercise of finding where a curve is differentiable and where it's not. The question says, on what intervals is the following function differentiable? State at what x values the function is not differentiable, and why the function is not differentiable at these x values. So on what intervals are we differentiable? Well, let's check it out. From negative infinity, that arrow indicates that we got a line. So we have a slope. It's smooth. It's continuous. we got a slope all the way from negative infinity. So I'll write down differentiable. That's a fun word to say, differentiable. Tongue twister. So we're differentiable from negative infinity all the way until we get to x equals negative 6. Because at x equals negative 6, the slope from the left appears to be a positive slope of roughly up to right 1. But from the right, that's a horizontal tangent line. So the slope at x equals negative 6 does not agree from the right as it does coming from the left. So we stop at negative 6 and we'll pick it back up from there. So I'll just say at x equals negative 6, uh, the slopes are different, are not equal from the left and right. From the left and right. Now there's a real formal way of doing that with math notation. Let me show you. So you could also write the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the left of f prime of x. You're saying as we approach from the left side of f prime, so the slope of this thing from the left does not equal the slope of f of x from the right side of negative 6. I love that notation. It's something beautiful about it. And by putting f prime, we're saying the slope of f of x. Then we pick back up again from negative 6. We're cool. And then we got a vertical tangent line at negative 3. So we're going to go from negative 6 all the way to negative 3, and then we'll stop right there at negative 3. Now that we've stopped at negative 3, let's see what's going on. We've got a vertical tangent. So I'll say f prime of negative 3 does not exist. Does not exist. Since there's a vertical tangent. So since there is a vertical tangent line there. And I'll abbreviate that. Tangent line at x equals negative 3. Nice, you got that? Great. Then we pick back up again from negative 3 all the way until 2. And at x equals 2, we're not continuous anymore. We've got a hole. So we're going to stop at 2. And so we'll say that x equals negative, sorry, positive 2. Or at x equals 2, f of x is not continuous and therefore not differentiable. Is not continuous. And here's a therefore sign. If you've never seen it before, it's great. And therefore, not differentiable. Differentiable. Beautiful. All right, almost done here, peeps. Now, as we go on, we're good because we're nice and flat all the way till we get to 4. So it goes from 2 all the way till 4. But at 4, Ah, we're going to use that limit notation again. The slope from the left is 0, but the slope from the right, well, that seems to be about positive 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So uh, at x equals 4 as well, we've got the x values not differentiable. Sorry, the function's not differentiable there because, and I'll just use limits. The limit as x approaches 4, that's the x value we're approaching, from the left of the slope of f of x equals 0 which does not equal, well, the limit as x approaches 4 from the right, which is equal to 4. And how did I get those slopes? That's a flat line, slope of 0. This is up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. So since the slopes are not equal from the left and from the right, we're not differentiable there, and we're almost done. At x equals 6, we've got, well, a bunch of different reasons, but it's just not continuous. At x equals 6 f of x has an, well, just we'll say a non-removable discontinuity. So a discontinuity. I'll say discon. How about that? And so we pick back up here. We're going to unite this from 4 to 6 and then pick back up again from 6 to positive infinity where we do have slopes. So remember, we got slopes everywhere on this thing here. There's a slope. 
all through there, there's a slope. It's just in these particular x values where there's no slopes. Any place where there's a point cusp looking thing where the slopes are different from the left and right, a vertical tangent, a hole, or any kind of discontinuity, or a corner, you don't have slopes at those points. Everywhere else, we're good. We're smooth. We're continuous. See you next time. By the way, you're smooth and continuous. I'm smooth and continuous with this calculus stuff. So I guess we're differentiable. I had to throw that in, of course.